today we're going to show you how to mount a sword on the wall using a magnet. So we like swords and we've had a really hard time figuring out how to mount them on the wall. Uh, most mounts are ugly, funky, or just don't work. So we came up with the idea of hanging them from a rare earth magnet. So this may not work for every sword. It works best for swords that have some flat surface area, either at the hilt or tip. We're gonna make sure that the magnet protrudes beyond the thickness of the hilt and the handle. Most of these magnets come with some spacers. I'm going to use the plastic spacer that was included in this magnet. I'm gonna keep it between the blade and the magnet uh, just to make it a little easier to get the magnet off. If I put that there, take a straight edge. I want to make sure that the sword can be uptight against the magnet when the magnet is mounted to the wall. I have a couple other swords hanging in this room, so I know that I want the top of my hilt to be at about 25 inches from the ceiling, which means I want the center of my magnet to be at about 7 inches so that the magnet sits right about there. Once I've marked where I want my magnet to hang, I'm going to start a pilot hole with a nail. If you're lucky enough to hit a stud, happy day. Since I don't have a stud, I'm going to use an easy anchor, a smallish easy anchor. Before you proceed, make sure that the screw sits all the way down in the recessed opening. Thank you, Leah. I'm going to start my easy anchor, drive it up to the threads, screw it into the wall ever so carefully. Make sure it's fairly flush to the sheetrock. I'm going to wrap a couple pieces of electrical tape crisscrossed around the magnet just to prevent any scratching of the blade. Going to push the screw through the tape, make sure my plastic washer is behind the magnet, and I'm ready to mount it to the easy anchor. The screw started. It's fun working with magnets. <laughs> Just keep screwing. Just keep screwing. <laughs> Inappropriate. So once I start to get flush, I'm gonna make sure that the spacer is lined up nicely behind the magnet, cinch it up pretty tight. I don't want it to spin, so I'm going to make it reasonably tight. going to take my zombie tools, Ferris Wolf, I like this sword, and carefully, because I don't want to cut myself, position it over my magnet, I'll make sure it's straight up and down. Voila. Mm -hmm. 